All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, this is the Bonneville. On today's episode of the channel, we're actually talking about that car back there, my Cadillac. Hopefully that shot turned out. Uh, long story short, I was, uh, I should have done a body work on this car all summer while it was warm and the weather was nice to do it, but I didn't, I procrastinated. Now it's late in the season and that car is about to be my only car because the Bonneville, well, the Bonneville has been in hibernation mode this whole, season pretty much and the sleek is about to go away for hibernation with the bonneville for the winter and so i tried to squeeze in some body work at the very last minute and um well let's just say it might be it literally i think is the worst thing i've ever done to one of my cars ever so tonight you're coming with me we're going to pick up cam in the cadillac you guys will see how bad this is and it's a gopro so it won't look as bad as it actually is um and we're gonna go try and find well, we are gonna go inspect some parts that I might be buying to help me resolve the problem that I've created with this car. Basically, to help me fix this car. The problem, and it wasn't the car's fault. These problems are entirely, they're entirely my fault. Now guys, I know everybody makes mistakes, but your boy did a number on this Cadillac. Just wait till you see this. I am properly embarrassed. Oh yeah, and quickly, before we go, um, the door panel was off because I had to take a piece of trim off. So the door panel is actually in the back. Um, so there's no window controls. I think this is maybe how you, yeah, that's how you let yourself out. There's your lock and unlock. I, I genuinely can't believe how badly I screwed that poor car up the other side of that door. Now, before you look at the door, Fine. that door. Passenger? Yeah, passenger. Am I gonna, you, am I gonna see? Yeah, you need to be very honest. Okay. It's bad on this side because it's not done. It's the wrong color. It, it is the wrong color. That's just the rust coating. But no, have a, have a, I've actually haven't seen it out of the garage. I try not to look at that side. It's so bad. The GoPro, it actually looks fine, but it's heinous in real life. Theo painted that? Did, I, I wish Theo painted it. Oh, um, open the door. O open this door. Open it. Sweet. Sweet. So, um, you know how we like rolling windows down? Yeah. That, I just had to plug the door panel back in to put the window up, actually. So I don't have heated seats. You do have heated seats. I do. Oh no, you don't actually. No, no sorry. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. I mean, you can plug it in. I have the door panel. It's right there. It's supposed to be on the door. It is. Yeah. I'm. I'm so not impressed with how much I've ruined that fucking door. But I got a Cadillac though. So the car we're here to look at is right there on the other side of the highway. We've got to do a little cross under it here. Oh, that's a that's a that is an vehicle. Sorry. It's worse than that. All right, so might need a new door here, and then over here it's well, you guys already saw it's really 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 bad this could potentially be the parts car dude look at the header look at how weird that is it's flat oh, that's, that's good for power yeah that is really bizarre because i like this one we got. yep the coolant side of it yeah i don't think we're driving it the headlights oh the fucking was the fender gone i don't know i don't think it was is that, that my color that or is that just white that's what the pins right it's a vinyl that comes off. Let's see. It looks like it's just white. Might be a different color. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at it. You can see. Yours has pearl. Yeah, mine has pearl in it. Er that literally sounds like ass. Literally. That sounds like Sean is what it sounds like. After Burger King. So you 
see the sparkles. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think this is a different. So, that looks pretty flat white to me. It is. Yeah, it's a different color. It's definitely different. That's too bad. Yeah, that is, that's really too bad. Oh, there you go, you get this door. Oh, maybe I don't want parts off this one. Dude, here's the bumper. His third brake lights are a problem because it doesn't have one either. Yeah. <laughs> Did they take the exhaust off of here? I don't know. It's fucking really hard to tell. I don't. I don't think it's the same. I didn't know they offered just a, this is. I think just a a regular white. A this white. Isn't, yeah. This isn't the pearl. Look at that. Well, I guess that means I'm gonna have to fucking fix my. Those brakes are nuts so. though. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah, they are. I found the rim for it too. It was too bad. Yeah, that's well, what. It's a good thing you didn't buy shit anyway. It's been sitting a while. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to be fixing my mess somehow. I'm sure it... There's another one somewhere. Oh, oh I'm what? sure. Yeah. This was not that rare of a color. No. Look at this though, I want this to turn into the Ghostbusters car. Now yes, I do know the Ghostbusters car, that Cadillac was an ambulance, it wasn't a hearse. I think this is the right color. Yeah, this is dope. Dude, look at that interior, it's blue! Holy fuck, it Dude, is it's blue. a blue interior! With black seats. That's weird. Oh yeah, here's where the bodies go. Elite, you go in the Elite. So different. Dude, I love it. Like low key, I love it. Going through quad tips on that fucking booster. Yeah, dude, you're riding to the cemetery. You got quad tips on that bitch. <laughs> Don't worry, grandpa's still going out with style. Well, that seems like well, dodged a bit of a bullet there by checking, but don't think we're gonna be buying doors off of off a of limousine. That would have been a great title, though. It would be a different cool story. Yeah, it would be a very cool story, because the body is the same. Yeah. Now the sketchy part, we have to go the wrong way down a highway. Well, we don't, but... But we're going to? Well, it's... <sighs> well, where's the next off-ramp? Is that just up there? It is just up there. But that's not fun. But that's not fun. Stealth mode. We don't want them to see us. Yeah, definitely. It's so impossible to see. That's the last car I've seen. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Cadillac was and now right there if you can see it is the Darlington nuclear factory that one's actually the garbage. oh that's the incinerator, the incinerator yeah. so the nuclear plants over that way well I, see I don't understand how it works so that is owned by OPG Ontario power generation right uh, but I know that big smokestack that you're seeing is burning garbage oh I'm sure I don't think they do nuclear there are nuclears in but the nuclear siren just comes all the way out of here? It does because we're in the affected radius here. Oh, I see. If anything went wrong, this is where it dead ends. Is it the lake? Or? Might be. I, I really don't remember. Like, no, it doesn't do that. No. Warning. Oh, it does. Actually. Yeah, we're at the lake, steep bluff. Maybe this is always where it just came because I really don't remember. In and out. This is fucking creepy, dude. If we were here on Halloween, I'd be saying, hell nah. <laughs> I'm still tempted to say, hell nah. Oh, 
his is a chunk. Not that windy. I figured it would be just. Yeah, I thought it'd be just fucking cold as shit. Wow. Yo, when I point the light right at me, I can't see anything. Oh, wow. You guys can't see shit, but over here, all along, is the uh, Toronto... Oh, you can see the CN Tower. Yeah, you can see the CN Tower. I'm going to go to the iPhone, see if you can see it. Yeah, so there you go, guys. That's a bit better of an idea of what we're seeing. So straight ahead there is Toronto, and we can actually see the CN Tower. I'm not sure if you guys can. And then when you pan over this way, there's another little bit of light. That would be Buffalo. And then I think it's Rochester down over that way. And you can see, look how low the clouds are lying, eh? So he's just about to get a shot of the Cadillac going through the tunnel, and there's pumpkins. Right here, randomly, middle of nowhere. That's not creepy at all. No, dude, that's actually really creepy. Pumpkins randomly by an old archway and a Cadillac. Pumpkins, we are like, we're out, we're way out here. Rev it in the tunnel. driven right up to, I guess that'd be the incinerator there on that side. Yeah. East Bend, I don't know what they do. Then this road is on Energy Drive, so it's owned by Ontario Power Generation, which owns the, was the nuclear plant in Pickering? Yeah, and they got yeah. a bunch of hydro dams and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. That's cool. It does look pretty cool. That's fun. cool. Fucking so quiet. This reminds me of some of the industrial parks in Ottawa, actually, is what this reminds me a lot of. Look, at, it's on video, there's my signal. I do know how it works. <laughs> and I can use it. Why, because I just showed it. This is so cool. It's so weird, there's nobody here. Yeah. Durham York Energy Center. That's what this says. Oh, it's... Oh, it's telling you the information about it. Yeah. So today the incinerator was 1,360 degrees. Jesus, that's fucking hot. It's telling you the emissions. It's very impossible. That's cool. Huh. I don't know if it's good or bad, but... I don't either. But I know it's telling me information. Now, do you think any of that's true? It's hard, it's hard to say. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> What's he got there? Okay guys, you're not gonna be able to see it at night. In fact, you're not gonna be able to see it at all. But right across the tracks from us is a pole with nuclear sirens on it. Legitimate nuclear alarms. 
they used to test these when I was in school and uh, all the way up I don't know, probably 10 miles from here you can hear them Jesus. loud and clear over there but there's a few more around here so I'm not sure if it was just these ones I was hearing right but yeah they're loud yeah, they were testing like once here. Oh yeah, you can kind of, maybe, sort of, no, you can't pick up the top of them. No, you can, a little bit. That's freaky, dude. Yeah. It's kind of fucked up, you think about it. Yeah, big time. You, everybody lives around here and say, oh yeah, what are these? Oh, if there's nuclear sirens, no big deal. Yeah. If these go off, we're fucked. What does this say? Huh. For inquiries, please contact. <laughs> They're not gonna post what it is right fucking on them. So what's the exclusion zone? Roughly 100 miles, 160K? I'm not too sure. Obviously there's no sirens up in Peanut Row, but I believe, I don't know. So there was actually a thing when I was in elementary school around here. Yeah. We had our parents, well, that's just a hole in the room. Our parents had to sign a form saying if something happened at the nuclear plant that they were able to give us pills that would, um, I guess, like, I don't know, a better chance of fighting off the radiation. What? Yeah. Yeah, that's real. Dude, that's fucked. That's, yeah. that's really I, fucked. We never thought of it when we were kids that much, right? But, no. It's kind of fucked to think about it. Yeah, that's really fucked. But yeah, that was a thing. And um, I don't know if there was ever a map that showed anything, but I think... The idea was actually to head north towards Peterborough if anything ever yeah, happened. Yeah, get out. Now, Peterborough itself, I think, would be on, like, kind of like a yellow zone. Right, because like, we're not if, that far away. No, it, it's one of those things more like, it depends on the wind. If the wind was going our direction, it would go up there. Yeah. But it wouldn't be brutal, like, down here. Like, all of down here is, like, danger. That's fucking, happened. that's fucking creepy, dude. Really creepy. Yeah, that's pretty fucked, isn't it? That's how insane it is. Like you have a power plant, all these things you have to build the infrastructure for the sirens. You have to uh, supply all these radiation pills to, to students and all yeah. this stuff. It's well, it's insane. like Chernobyl. It's like the Chernobyl disaster. Yeah. And a few years ago, what's actually fucked is that we had that um, scare. We had the scare with it. Yeah. Which they said it was an accident. I don't think so. Yeah, that was. That was. That was. Fucked. Well, how did that go? They sent out a warning like a tax amber alert. yeah an amber, an amber alert. alert saying that there was a problem with the pickering nuclear and then like hours later they're like oh it was just an accident well, i'm sorry but that's a pretty fucked accident yeah to have happened where you telling entirety of southern ontario to evacuate but it was an accident i don't think it was an accident i just think that they got it under was, control yeah, I think that's what whatever the problem was because n nobody from there would talk about it no they weren't allowed to no oh that's weird so yeah, nuclear, nuclear sirens. and that is going to wrap up this very, very spontaneous episode of Scully Productions. To wrap up this video though, the doors that I wanted for the Cadillac off of that Cadillac limousine, which would have been a really cool story just to get the doors off a Cadillac limousine. It's hard to see in the light, but it's really hard actually, but you can kind of see this car has a lot of pearl and in person there's gold in this paint and there's a little bit of purple actually, and maybe even a little bit of blue but the limousine that uh, Cam and I went to look at, it was just, um, what's the word? It was just a flat white. Nice color, but not, you wouldn't tell, as soon as you put the doors on this, you would tell, as soon as any sort of light hit it, you would know immediately. So, so the spots like here, there, and then this whole thing as an entirety. Not great, I'm gonna clean it up the best I can to make it look presentable for the winter time, to make videos for you guys. 
and just so I don't kind of totally cringe every time I walk out to it in the driveway in the morning. I honestly feel really bad because, well, one, I should have known better than waiting as long as I did to do body work until it was too cold to do it. This car is my fucking workhorse. It's been nothing but a flawless vehicle for the, well, not flawless, but we've been pretty good. We've had a, you and I have had a pretty decent track record, knock on wood and touch wood. So I feel really bad that I did that to it. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is try and tie up the loose ends of the mess I made as best I can to get the car through winter and then either find color matching doors for it off another car whenever those pop up or in the springtime, tear off all my mistakes, sand it all down, POR 15, Bondo, treat it, do it all properly and correctly and take my time in warm weather. But I do feel really, really bad for the Cadillac because it didn't deserve that. It's a much better, it deserves much better than that. But once again, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Scully Productions. Don't forget to leave a comment down below, click the like button, and I will see you on the next episode of Scully Productions. Peace.